Hi, I'm Callie Alvarado and I'm Sweet Sugar Bell, the creator of the Sweet Sugar Bell decora cookie decorating products. And today I want to talk a little bit about my Shapeshifter kit that is in Ben Franklin's store. The Shapeshifter kit is a box of 20 cutters that turn into over 40 different cookie designs. If you look on the back, each of the cutters shift into two different things. So today we're going to demonstrate how the shift works and specifically we're working on the ice cream cone, which can also be a turkey. But in addition to the shape shifting properties, we also have all of the information you need included in the kit to make professional looking decorated cookies at home. Inside the kit is my recipe instruction cards. It has my sugar cookie recipe, my royal icing recipe, and it also has the best tips from my blog broken down into easy to understand bulleted instructions. We talk about consistencies, coloring, royal icing, and more, and also how to use the templates. The templates are another unique feature of the Shapeshifter set. They're plastic templates that let you transfer the design that you're working on to the cookie before you begin, so you have guidelines. So what we're doing is we're laying the stencil on top of a baked cookie, then we're using a food safe marker to trace the design onto the cookie. The food safe marker is purposefully food colored or cookie colored brown. That way if you don't quite get in the lines, it's okay because it's just it's not as obvious as maybe a pink. So first you trace the design onto the cookie. And then you work in steps to decorate the cookie. And before I get started, let me flip over to the instructions. In the set are step-by-step -step decorating instructions for all of the designs included. And another cool feature is that they're color-coded. So if you're using a blue cookie cutter, the card for the cookie cutter will also be blue, making it easier to find since there are 40 cards. So I'm following the steps here. And now we will get started for real. Now that you've got the design transferred onto the cookie, you follow the lines and outline like we've done here. See, and it gives you a guideline. Sometimes empty cookies are really, really intimidating. And this is more like coloring. Like you trace around the outlines and then you fill in the middle. Okay, so this is the piping step of the icing and that is about toothpaste consistency icing which we do talk about in the instruction cards and it's supposed to be soft enough to squeeze but um, thick enough that it holds its shape and now we're flooding and this is a more liquid consistency royal icing it's all royal icing in um, the same recipe we just use water to thin it to different consistencies but you flood the outline once it's complete. And see, since it's liquid, it kind of just falls flush. For the third step, we're gonna let this dry a little bit so that the colors don't run or bleed together. And then we're going to outline and flood the cone, like we've done here. And really it's just a matter of adding each step layer by layer. To speed this up a little bit, I'm kind of fast forwarding one of the steps. So you will outline the cone. And then flood it. And then after this step, you do the same with the chocolate portion. You use dark brown icing to outline and flood the top, sprinkle in a few sprinkles. Then you get to this point where the cookie's dry, and then you pipe on the final details. And I'm doing this upside down, so here we go. We'll add a little squiggle down here to kind of finish it out. 
the fun thing about this is it's a teaching tool so once you figure out the methods and understand how basic cookie decorating works you can get creative and do your own thing you could have strawberry ice cream or chocolate mint or anything that your imagination can dream up here's a quick technique to help your pipe help you improve your piping skills as a beginner, it's instinct to drag the tip along the edge of whatever you're working on, just kind of a security and a guide. But it actually works better if you apply firm pressure to the top of the bag and use your finger to guide and pull up and away in a straight line. Here's an example. If you're following a curvy edge, so you lift up and away and kind of sway as you move through the curve, or if you're doing a little bit straighter of an edge, the way that you turn a corner is to touch whenever you stop. So you start, maintain consistent pressure, pull up and away, touch, turn the corner, consistent pressure, up and away, touch, turn the corner. But the key to perfect piping is to pull up and maintain that consistent pressure on your bag.